Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Mad as a Guide. I know it's really far off in the distance and basically pointless because of its distance. But anyway, bear with me because today I want to talk about these internet rappers. These people who call themselves hip-hop fans. Bull fucking shit. Every time I hear one of these underground rappers, they're saying the same goddamn shit that's already been done before. If you're gonna do something that's been done before, don't be so goddamn pretentious about it. Don't do a political hip hop song and pretend like you're the first person who did it or you are so aware of politics and you're so brilliant and you're so great. I fucking love hip hop, I'll admit it. I'll be the first to admit that I'm the biggest wigger who ever goddamn existed. From Big Daddy Kane all the way through to Hobson, I, I just can't help myself, I love it. Africa Bombarda, Big L, Big Pun. You got all these rappers and all these people doing their style. And then you have a bunch of wannabes come along with a bloody internet connection and a YouTube account making a bunch of shithouse videos. Like, and all the rappers who get really big on the internet are fucking shit. They're just shit. Riff Raff sucks. He's such a boring rapper. I mean, his rhymes aren't the worst I've ever heard, but he just says nothing. And it's just the same goddamn rap song over and over again. And now the mainstream's caught on to it, and all their songs sound just the same as the internet shit. They're talking about Gucci and Jays and all this. Why don't you have something to say? Tell a simple story with simple rhymes. I'll fucking enjoy that a lot more. Let's take it back. Let's stop being pretentious. Let's stop pretending like we're literary geniuses. We're no Edgar Allan Poe's, we're no Hunter S. Thompson's, we're not changing the world really. Rap songs get forgotten so fucking quickly. You know why Eminem is such a marvel of hip-hop? Because his album that came out like 13 years ago is still listened to. That rarely happens in hip-hop. You know, like Black Sunday from 93, I think that's like one of the only things from 93 that is still awesome to listen to. You know, it's just crazy to me. It's such a... A progressive genre that's going nowhere. And that's what hip-hop is. Not just with the the music, but also with the words and the, the things you can say. I mean, you can't make a folk song about Ted Bundy and fully describe his fucking murders and stuff. But Jack Progresso could do it with hip-hop. You know what I mean? There's so much that can be done and we're all just talking about crap and just being bullshit artists. And if all we're going to do is be bullshit artists and just whinge about haters and shit, well, you know what I say? Get your Cassia Tone CT6000 out, your good old school bloody 1980s technology, and you may as well just go back to that goddamn level. Fuck the pretentiousness. This is what hip-hop should go back to. Frustration from a generation that looks down on me Learn to be what I will be Tree gives life to the page Write the rhymes unaware of what the world gives People like me a chance to fucking speak But not to be heard Masses rather let's play May day for intelligence Irrelevance without a meme My only dream is this risk loyalty On a chance start to glance At the information stance of a stocky brother Refuse to get me worried Buried under dirt shirt breast to impress All about the final goal Women use for a whole People on the dole Used to be my role Rejection with the cash Rush of hatred, make my videos music all alone in the dark. Then I buy for more attention with suspension, levitate and irritate the people on this walk. Chalk Allen of the murder, herd you to the slaughter. Reporter makes some money off pain, it's insane. Make me vain, so I'll buy the fucking products I don't need. Fed by the greed. Fed by the greed. Sulfur burns a bleed, but it can't because it's not alive in the beehive and I'm getting stung. I'm getting wrung out by society, can't live with sobriety, I'm smoking this blunt, stupid dumb cunt, taking it straight back, cause all your motherfuckers to me, you sound whack, might not have the best rhymes, no way to rock, not trying to be that, just trying to keep a real, real deal, haven't got the money or the guns, haven't got the lady buns, chilling in my room, living with the gloom and depression on the side, don't care about the peroxide, I want that cyanide pill, put it in my mouth, send me down south, going down to Satan, that's what it's about, not lying anymore, wanna hear the real shit, talk political, you better understand shit, see, Th that's what I mean, you know, if you're gonna get boring with it, don't fuck around, I, I see all these pretentious rappers coming out saying oh, I got the best new rhymes and they're doing the same shit that's been done. If you're big pun wannabe, you're a big 
Khan wannabe. You're not some new name. Don't give yourself a, a rap name. Don't call your MC something or anything. If you're just stealing someone else's style and trying to be pretentious about it, you're fucking nuts. And if you're gonna steal someone's style, take it back and tell the truth. All this crap about money and bitches and love and shit, it's just lame. It's either been done and perfected or it just doesn't work anymore. Look what I did there. I just wrote a few things on some pages in five minutes. If I spent like a whole week on it, I could come up with something that's really good. But everyone just uses hip hop because Eminem did it. It's dead. It really is. This instrumental, even though it's on a simple keyboard, really expresses the situation to me of hip hop. It's dead. It's finished. Miley Cyrus raps. <laughs> like, honestly, can you really take it seriously anymore? Mad as a go.